Welcome and thank you everyone for joining Velvetex session. Today we will be discussing how to improve customer experience by using artificial intelligence and low code within an omni-channel contact center at your company or your clients. Our experts in contact center solutions are standing by in a live Zoom meeting and they look forward to your questions. So please go ahead and start asking your questions right away. This is Yuri Yushkov speaking. I'm the CEO at Velvatech, and I have led this company since 2004. My professional career began over 25 years ago with banking software development and now progressed to creating software solutions and technology platforms for companies from many industries globally. I have my team members with me today. Artyomi Firsov is our team lead and product manager for Contact Center and AI solutions. And Roman Mastabaev, our strategic client account manager. He's in charge of business development and customer success with our Contact Center solutions based on the Creatio platform. So why is Velvetech a leader in the area of contact centers? Since 2004, Velvetech has been on the cutting edge of IT solutions development. We worked with the top phone system platforms on the market globally including Ring Central and 2600 Hertz. And besides, we worked with the top CRM software vendors that includes Creatio. It is our leading CRM partner today. We are going to take a deep dive into how experience and expertise in artificial intelligence and machine learning empowers operations of sales, marketing, and service. It's important to note that Velvetech delivers its services globally. We do so through our headquarters in Chicago and our centers of excellence in Central America and Eastern Europe. We have over 90 full-time experts who implement and support our software solutions and facilitate innovation and growth for our customers. As we continue to innovate with our clients and research further, the critical role of artificial intelligence and machine learning, we have actually found out that augmenting the human capabilities in a contact center has four key pillars. These are the areas where companies can address challenges at their contact centers and where our technology provides new capabilities. Well, first of all, it's connecting with customers through different digital channels. It happens during the client's buyer journey or when customers request for help. The idea is to let all of the agents grow to the level of top performers across the entire contact center. It refers to various cohorts of teams in terms of how long they have been employed at their contact center and what level of onboarding they have gone through. This is done by giving them the best tools that are scalable to different types of use cases. And these tools manage the process across the day-to-day -day duties in the work of a contact center agent. At the same time, those tools have to be capable of bringing the highest level of process automation and managing the flow of interactions intelligently. This is where AI and machine learning are based on the context of every single conversation. It makes conversations and interactions tailored to the individual needs of the customer or prospect in real time, which is very important. And finally, when the resource management is applied through artificial intelligence, the managers at the contact center are able to provide the best on-demand knowledge for their staff. As we grow through discovery meetings with our customers, we see that they may come with somewhat different immediate needs. While uh, some of them are being driven by their need for better agent coaching, the others would like to look deeper into the conversations to navigate through their workflow better and drive better outcomes. Or they just want to connect in real time with their customers and apply that knowledge in a better, more meaningful way. Through all of their customer needs, we see what unifies them. So obviously our business client, their intent is to reduce the cost. Their driving motive is also to speed up the process of onboarding and coaching their agents and to give them better tools that can leverage the new technology to be more fluent in the conversations with customers. And ultimately, uh, they all want to achieve a more intelligent orchestration of operations. And, and this is where the low code is really an indispensable tool and a capability where you master those processes and utilize AI and machine learning to make them intelligent. And I'd like to illustrate that. I like to explain uh, a little bit on one of the aspects of AI and machine learning which is why exactly speech analytics is so important and why that matters for contact centers. The solutions that we provide are deeply integrated and speech analytics is like a gluing mechanism that allows for extracting information from unstructured data, such as calls and audio or text messaging. So using this approach and this technique, we can go a lot deeper and 
do a lot of things, such as we can look into the data, which is collected through every single conversation in the contact center. We can leverage this knowledge through the way we are analyzing the audio, and we can understand and capture emotions. So on top of that, we can intelligently identify those customer interests and concerns that they express when they're interacting with the contact center agents. Also, the AI and machine learning combined together with uh, low code and this is where the process kicks in on certain triggering events or due to certain business rules. And that let us provide the on-time support and guidance to the agents when they are working on a call and when that help is most needed. And, and there's also huge, the improvements in the conversations mean that they can become shorter because your rep can get into the right point of the sales conversation through the optimum path, or they just can resolve to the results faster. And the conversations with the most optimal outcomes, they become possible. And through that, it's even more meaningful. I think that the best way to illustrate what would be happening is to show you one of the business cases that we've prepared to share today. I'd like to pass the microphone to Artyomi and let him speak about that. Thank you, Yuri, and hello, everyone. My name is Artemy, and today we'll tell you about the business case we had with one of our clients, and specifically, I'm talking about the DataGuard USA company. They are the document management company connecting individuals and business owners with local service providers to scan, store, and shred private information. Uh, they had about 10 operators in their call center. Uh, it is 1,000 to 1,500 calls a day, uh, and they have the nice in contact as, the, uh, as their telephony. So the biggest challenge that they have is that they have uh, their call center set up. However, uh, they didn't have this analytical data and this decision-making tool to provide even more insights to how their call center operates. So our biggest issue to solve was, was to give them a better understanding of their target audience, their needs, and how their call center operates. And so within our approach, uh, first step was to start monitoring and recording the calls to get the audio data, which we can further transcribe to get the text data. And this text data can be fed into the AI solution, which can further learn from each call. And uh, we can locate with this AI solution best practices and implement them within every operator of the call center. So having all that implemented and integrated into their pipeline, uh, the data guard company can now not only listen to call recordings from uh, uh, like the Creatio CRM, however, they also can track different more advanced statistics like agent talk time versus customer talk time. Did the agent use the phrases and words during the call which we expect them to use? Were they script adherent? And all these things can affect their scorecard. So we can introduce gamification to that process with our natural language processing uh, we used on the text data. Now, of course, as we transcribe calls, we can visualize dialogues with appropriate time, timestamps and speaker identification. And all this information, all this data, uh, coupled with Creatio advanced filtering uh, feature and uh, flexible dashboards uh, that can be customized with low code tool, um, gives um, the opportunity uh, to identify best practices of certain operator um, that drives sales the most and propagate them to the entire call center to increase the efficiency of your call center. Thank you. Passing the microphone back to you, Yuri. Thank you, Artemi. We will be providing a demo in just a moment. And before we switch to a demo, I wanted to give you a visual view into our architecture. So on the left hand side, you can see the AI solution modules. And the reason for those is to be able to augment the data flow, interactions and information that is coming from a customer as it's managed through the system that connects him or her to an agent at a contact center through a phone system. So on top we see Velvetel, which is our telephony system. That is the thing that connects prospects and uh, customers through a variety of media channels. You see voice, SMS, video, instant messages, and activities on the website, landing pages, and forms. The data is captured and fed into the platform towards the activity management cloud. And eventually all of the data is being augmented through the AI solutions. 
Then it's fed to a business decision or support systems like CRM, agent quality management system, dashboarding and business analytics that you see on the right hand side. As we look into the structure of our platform at the application level, we have several seamlessly integrated software modules. All of these modules are available at our Creation Marketplace today. In addition, I'm excited to announce today about our partnership with vSender. We provide a seamless integration within our omni-channel contact center with chatbots and instant messaging channel. So I'd like to highlight that when customers discuss our challenges with us, we configure a vertical solution for them using the low-code platform and the built-in customization tools. This approach provides the best solution for our clients in the fastest delivery time possible. I would like to let Roman show our solution. But once again, I'd like to encourage everyone to think of their use cases now, how that may be applied to your particular scenario or people of your organization or your end customer. And please submit those questions and ideas to us right away using the Zoom chat option. And we will start the discussion right away. Go ahead, Roman. Thank you, Yuri. Hi everyone, my name is Roman and let me start our demo. Uh, as you know, the main entity of the CRM is a contact base, so contacts. Uh, you can store various information about the contacts, link them to orders and tickets, create activities. Of course, you want to build relationships with these contacts and deliver exceptional customer experience. For this purpose, you need the right set of tools. And first of all, I want to show you how easy you can dial with your clients and prospects with a click to call feature. I want to call uh, Artemi Firsov, and uh, the phone number is displayed in communication options, and it's clickable. Those I can make a call from Croatia by just one click of a mouse on this green button. So let's try. You can hear that the, the call goes. Hello, Artemi. When the person you are calling is picking up the phone, now you can see uh, the features in the dial pad that we are enabling here. Uh, you can click the dial pad to enter an extension on the switchboard. You can transfer a call by typing uh, a phone number or choosing a contact record or your extension. Uh, you can put the call on hold. Uh, you can mute and unmute a call. At the same time, the call card will be opened and also you can open the call a call card from the CTI panel. After a call, you can select the call disposition result that be completed and uh, take a note about this call. As you can see, it's very easy to do. The call that you made is displayed in CTI panel. The numbers are in CTI panel are also clickable. While we are talking with Artemi, the call is being automatically transcribed and uh, we can see that my words are converted to text while I'm talking. This feature has a significant uh, effect on how you can customize your processes within the call center. For example, we start talking about the case or issue the client opened recently, uh, an automatic notification pops up with this client's latest case. Uh, let me uh, finish this call and close this case. From the same page, you can do other types of communications. Communication tool, tools are listed here in this area. We have phone, we have email, we have internal chat between the employees, and we have the ability to set up tasks. This list is extendable, and the SMS message sending capability like WhatsApp, Viber, Telegram can, can be added here in this panel. All outbound and the inbound communications with the contact like uh, phone calls, emails, SMS messages are consolidated in a history tab and uh, in timeline. In timeline, uh, we can see the most recent activities, activities which were made. Additionally, we integrated our contact center with vSender. Let me switch the screen. vSender is an add-on for Croatia platform that allows to connect 18 non-voice communication channels. And now I will demonstrate how you can use vSender chats and chatbots for your business purposes. Uh, as you can see that we added a chat section into an agent workplace. Let's assume that you have a live chat widget on your website that allows you to choose the preferred communication channels. And here you'll be able to see a list of channels that your company uses. 
let's start with a website channel we will see a history of previous chats uh, and let's say that i want to begin a new dialogue and you see that i met by a communication robot and let's think that i would prefer to chat with an agent let's assume that there is no one in the office now who can take the chat so our chatbot makes uh, a search of free online agents and as long as there is no one there chatbot offers to leave a callback request so i choose this option and i'll be asked for several questions uh, let's say what is my name what is my phone number and uh, what time anytime now the dialogue is finished but at the same time we can see that in creation system we will get a new activity that is created automatically by a chatbot and when we go inside we will see that uh, there is an activity regarding callback requests and that a new contact was created by a robot and when we go inside the contact card we will find here a phone number and name that have been left in the context timeline i'll see a task to call back and i'll see a chat history and if i go in chat card i will see here a communication that was done between me and robot and now i can repeat the situation except i will be online let's see what will happen once they start a new chat i choose chat with an agent and now a new chat is created and uh, take a look uh, the chat is already linked to to that contact and uh, I'm as an agent, I can scroll it and I can see a history of previous chats as well. And uh, of course, uh, link with uh, any professional chat system, I can use different options. Let's say, oh, he, he is, there is a new chat from WhatsApp and uh, I see that the chat uh, is linked to another contact. But now just a couple of words, what agents can do. Agent, agent can send quick answers from answer template library. Agent can attach files or images as well as a client can send it. Agent can forward the chat to another agent, to another group of agents or to a chatbot. Agent can run a business process that will allow to run a service case or lead or order. Uh, we can take the chat, we can send uh, the knowledge base article and we can close the chat using the menu of chat categories. Uh, by the end, I want to show you that everything uh, what is related to chats, you'll be able to find in this section. Uh, and you can use any analytical dashboard to see live information about your chats and agents activity. Now let's go back to previous creation page. And now we go to call history. Yes. Uh, in this section, a manager or an authorized user can review the call center activity. All calls processed by your agents are listed here with the primary details such as the call direction, results. And if you click on a call, you can play uh, the, the recording of this call or start transcribing it. And uh, to transcribe the call, you just need to click this button. this process is finished you will get a notification and uh, let's open uh, a call uh, which is already transcribed and when we get into the transcript by clicking this tab we get uh, a very detailed view into the phone call recording we can see it transcribed uh, by speakers and speakers are color coded one speaker is green another speaker is blue we can jump ahead uh, we can jump ahead and scroll uh, scroll the dialogue forward and backward in the conversation we can see that the audio track is already properly divided if i play uh, one part of the call we can see that the audio track is synced up with the text data uh, you can download this recording uh, by clicking this or export the transcript no and copy it to the clipboard um, the next feature is a scorecard 
um, that is used for agent quality assurance. The artificial intelligence agent engine is able to analyze every call and tell you without you doing any research or spending time on that, did the agent ask all of the right questions that you trained them to ask during the conversation? Or did the agent tell all the right things that you want them to tell? With this feature, you don't need to listen to every call anymore. All you need is to set up this panel with information and questions you want your agents to, to ask. Natural language proce processing does uh, all the rest automatically. It uh, accurately monitors and scores agent script adherence based on the preset criteria. The score is displayed in this field. Uh, timing details. Another part of our call analytics platform is timing details. You can find them uh, all in one tab. The information about uh, conversation duration, on hold time, time to connect are displayed here. This tool helps you to analyze all timing details and track is your agent an active listener. We make it possible thanks to automatic speaker identification process. Another important feature of our platform is dashboards. Those who are familiar with creation know this module. It uh, comes out of the box. Call analytics, it shows, uh, it shows uh, the number of calls today and average call duration. Uh, and it shows a leaderboard uh, presenting who is your top performer in terms of working on the phone. And uh, Velvetech expands this functionality by using the AI capabilities of our platform. One of the things that I can illustrate here is how marketing can be measured. You can uh, you can track uh, you can track your marketing efficiency and have a view into the top skills of your agents that are scored by the AI engine. So those skills that you train your agents for that are found in the conversations in the transcriptions that are made by our system. They are analyzed automatically and dashboard shows the relationship between the calls and conversion that you have. For example, you can visualize the top skills that lead to conversion of your marketing. Now you can see that it's very easy to make calls from Creatio and analyze them. What if you need to do hundreds or several hundreds of calls in the performance mode during the day? And this is where our next tool comes in, which is seamlessly integrated with the Creatio. So this is a look into the module and it calls Activity, uh, activity Management Cloud Power Dialer. It looks into the leads created in Creatio, contacts that are necessary to be dialed and everything is synced into the power dialer in real time. So then the agent makes massive volume of calls from the single window interface and let me show how it's done. After you import uh, a folder, uh, the call list will be created just like this. And let's open one of the contacts, let it be Ellen. In this field, we concentrate the most important information about the contact, and this information let the agents immediately get the contacts of the tasks they are processing, and also the contact information of whom they are calling to. Uh, it, could be a, yeah, it could be a mail address, and uh, also when the agent is talking to the person, they may have to verify some information, type in here, save, and it goes to Creatio. Uh, now let's see what happens when your agent click uh, the button make a call. As you can see the system will connect them immediately. I'm going to hang up just to not hear this. And as you can see here the call script displayed immediately. What I mean is uh, your agents can hear what the customer on the other end is telling them and they can click to that choice option. The conversation could go different ways. Uh, that's why we have a lot of options here. Let's, let's imagine I choose this one, this one, this one, and this one. And uh, the agent is able to schedule follow-up calls send follow-up emails and make a notes about the call from the same page. And when the agent finishes this activity, just click this button and uh, go for a next contact to call. And let's see how it works. Uh, we choose the call result call later. Choose uh, the date and time. Make some notes. And then we 
choose call next listing. It's, immediate, it's immediately loading information about the next person to call and it's very efficiently to make calls just one after another. Uh, it's very easy to do hundreds of calls per day without spending time on jumping with, between pages. Everything uh, that uh, agents do here is synced up into the CRM, into Creatio, and becomes part of the history and the timeline of the conversation. So there is no need to jump through multiple screens you can switch. Uh, you can switch between uh, call script and knowledge base. And knowledge base is uh, the place where you can have different articles or information that you want the call center agent to share with the customers when they are talking. Or it could be some uh, objections handling just like this. Uh, and it comes really helpful in the combination with the call script. Mm, and it helps uh, for the contact center agents to stay on the top uh, of the thread of the conversation. So uh, once you have pushed the folder into here in this app, everything you do, you do it from one page. So this module will take care of your call center needs and the purpose is to make the power dial very efficient. Let's talk about call routing. So the concept of this inbound Queue management is that you can have as many queues as you want. You can label them and set them up as far uh, as your uh, support, marketing, sales type queue, and you can assign agents to the queue. And manager can be on the top of this process. The manager can uh, track the status of every agent. This platform lets you manage inbound and uh, outbound call centers. And the last thing I want to tell you about is uh, our management portal. Uh, there are several apps in this portal which will help you to make all settings regarding telephony system and calls. Here you can create and add users, create and add devices, create IVR menu. Uh, also you can here uh, set up a melody which a customer will be listening while calling you. And you just, uh, you just need to make all settings one time and you do not need to come back here again and again. And uh, all the telephony operations, all of the nationwide dialing, SMS messaging, capability to call, all this phone system and dialing related features are powered by our cloud-based phone system. We provide nation carrier services at a very affordable price and we are the best in class VoIP service provider. Thank you very much for your attention. Thanks, Roman, and thanks to all participants for the questions that you've asked during this session. And if you have any further questions, please navigate to our virtual booth to continue a discussion. You can find our contact center at Creatio Marketplace, so feel free to download it to your Creatio instance and reach out to us to discuss your particular use case scenario. We appreciate your interest in improving customer experience and look forward to speaking with you soon. Have a nice day!